Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We're already on break five. Four box break number five of the brand new 2017-18 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. Big thank you to these folks for getting to the action. Joe P with the last three spots. Here you got last spot mojo too. We'll double everybody up. There it is. Everyone's doubled up. And they're the wild and the lightning. The wild lightning comboed to make 30. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list eight times. Four and a four, eight the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, we've got William L. all the way down to Joe P. Uh-oh. Joe P., William L. is in this break. You know what that means. Four and a four, eight times for the teams. Forgot to tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We've got Toronto Maple Leafs all the way down to the Canucks. Exactly. Hashtag William always wins. Especially when Joe P's in a break. All right. Good luck, everybody. William, you got the Maple Leaves, Vipple with the Flames. Yeah, there's William. He's like, I know what that means. Derek with the Coyotes. Joe P with the Flyers. Last spot, Mojo. You also have the Canadiens, Joe. Uh, Mike McCarthy, Hurricanes. Joe P with the Panthers. Johnny, you got the Red Wings. You also have the uh, Wild and Lightning combo. Fipple with the Bruins, Joe P with the Ducks, Josh Proust with the Blackhawks, Big Boys, 007 with the Blues, Josh with the Penguins, Rich with the Avs, Joe P, Rangers, Rich with the Sabres, Landon with the Jets, um, Mike, you've got the Capitals, Landon with the Senators, William with the Stars, Mike McCarthy with the Preds, Dylan, you got the Islanders, Mike McCarthy with the Oilers, Derek, Devils, William, Sharks, Big Boys, 007, Golden Knights, they won tonight, Kings, Dylan, William, Blue Jackets, Joe P, Vancouver Canucks, look at that. Now, now, now Joe P doesn't have to do all these wacky, shady deals to try to get the Canucks. He just got him. But still, William's in this break, Joe P. You know what happens when William is in breaks at your end. All right, so while people are thinking about trading, Joe P doesn't want the Vancouver. You don't want the Vancouver Canucks, right? All right, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Four, one, two, three, four. So this is the break. This is the box we're going to do right now. And we'll save this. X marks the spot for next time. So this is break five and six. And this will be seven and eight. I know, Tice. Joe P's actually happy. It's not garbage. The randomizer isn't garbage. The product isn't garbage. I guess, I guess all it takes is Joe P getting one of the best teams in a randomizer. Then that'll make him happy. Yeah, kind of a shocker. Joe, Joe, breaking news, folks. Joe P happy. Let's set that up. Now we got to pop this box open and see which four boxes we're going to do out of these eight. So we're doing half, case, half inner case breaks. But, but but Joe P pseudo nemesis is in the is in the chat though William L whenever they're in breaks together you know William will get the big hits Joe P's just like come on William always gets the hits he gets all salty and sour all right one two three four five six six so we're going right sides huh all right so this will be reserved for a uh, random team Number six. It's kind of hard to write at this angle. 
All right, so there's RT6. All right, see you, Brian. Thanks for hanging out, man. All right, so there's that's RT6 for next time. That'll be tomorrow, actually. This is our last break of the night, unless that uh, contender one box break of contenders draft picks fills up by the end of this break. Got to be full by the end. Oh, there we go. I, I like it that way better, William. Yeah, Jokey's just your good luck charm. That's what it is. It's not. It's not that they're nemesis or nemeses. It's just that Jokey's just William's good luck charm. That's all. All right. Well, I, I wish good luck to everybody in this break. I have no dogs in this fight. I want I want as many people as possible to get as many hits as possible. You know, there's always going to be someone who doesn't get hits. That's just the nature of breaking. That's going to happen. You know, but I was hoping for the best for everybody. So thanks, everybody. Big boys, 007 in the house. What up, Dave? That's, did I print that out? No, I did. Um, Dave, in case you're just joining us, you've got the Golden Knights and the St. Louis Blues. There you go. And this is a inner case from a fresh master case. First half of that. Here. Ah, Big Boys 007 starting your new Golden Knights PC, huh? That's not bad. Okay, one tonight. Seems to be seems to be a good series. Now, I've mentioned this before in previous hockey breaks. Um, now I don't watch, you know, as you'll notice, I don't want I don't watch that much hockey, so my pronunciation will be all over the place. But I, I was going to say that that the Vegas Golden Knights though has just been a great sports story in general. The fact that an expansion team has played has gone this far, and uh, and Vegas actually stands to lose a lot of money from their hometown team. Because they were, they were such huge underdogs to even get to this point. But there were a lot of fans, you know, in, in Vegas who were just like, yeah, your new hometown team, we'll put some money on them. So they, they've got, a, they might, they might be in for a lot of, a lot of losses. Not that we don't, not that we care too much about what the books are doing, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a crazy story. Uh, there's Alexander Carrier. Alexandri Carrier going to the Nashville Predators. And here's the here's the list hot off the presses right here on a Wednesday night. Predators. It'll be Mike McCarthy with that one. And Dave's like, I don't know any of the players. The logo looks cool though. This guy is cool. Kings edition, Wayne Gretzky. Great one going to Dylan. Nice. There's Austin Matthews. These are different parallels back here. Jonathan Druin. Tamo Solani. Got some young guns in here.
Where are the autographs? They're all here? All right, autos, come on. Do your thing. Yeah, Brock Bozer. 192 out of 999 for Joe P. And the Vancouver Canucks. I guess it's Joe P that always wins now. Nice, man. And Remy Ellie for the Stars out of 999. 420 out of 999. That goes to Dallas. William. Ooh. William Joe P. Neck and neck. All right. Next box. Good luck. You're welcome, Joe P. Thanks for joining the break. See, it's a, it's a lot more fun when you join breaks, Joe P. Instead of, oh yeah, 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 you're class dismissed for Joe P. You can go now. He's like, good night, everybody. Yeah, you, you, you can go. Everything else will just be, just watch the video tomorrow. It'll just be bonus. If you were on like the East Coast, I'd be like, yeah, go to bed, man. You got what you needed. Yeah, it's a horror. Should, should we should we put like the Joe P hits here? Yeah, there, there's the William hits and the Joe P hits. We can see who wins out in the end. Who's got the bigger stack of cards at the end? Just create like competition amongst amongst the collectors here, amongst the clients that shop with Jaspies. Little little friendly competition never hurt anybody. Let's see who really wins. I don't know. Joe P always claims that William wins, but settle, we can settle this once and for all. All, all this looks like uh, looks like when my dog gets into like a roll of paper towels and like decides to shred it. It all all comes out in little pieces like this. That's what this reminds me of. All right, there we go. Get all these little pieces out. These little pieces end up everywhere. All right, good luck, everybody. There's Patch Glyne on top there. Bo. Out of nine ninety nine, future watch. Luke Kunin for the wild and lightning combo. That'll go to uh, Johnny with the combo team. King D, what is going on? There's Kerfoot, future watch, level two. For the Avs, Rich with the Avs. Yeah, I, I like the way the Rockets play tonight, King D. You know, I I put much much to uh, like I got a got a lot of pe lot of people that thought, thought I was crazy, King D. But but I put a few pennies on the Rockets to win the series. It was just a little some good value there. I thought they were underrating the Rockets a lot, so I gave it a shot. We'll see what happens. Seven games, I think. They got to use their full home court advantage. Uh, there's Brent Burns for the Sharks. That'll go to William. Oh, William Pyle.
sign of the times autograph for the Maple Leafs, Zach Hyman. That goes to William, Toronto Maple Leafs. I mean, William does always win. William Pyle. King D saying, if KD isn't playing good, the Rockets will dominate. Well, that, I think that's the problem. <laughs> I, I think you guys can't. You guys don't have an answer for KD. But if you could kind of neutralize the other guys, like you guys did tonight, you know, and you get a lot of even effort from everybody, you know, PJ Tucker, Bledsoe, Ariza. There are a lot of guys in double digits. That's got to be good. It's got to be. Vince Dunn for the St. Louis Blues. Big boy is 007. But, uh, I mean, I think for the Rockets, it's really just, here's the problem. The Warriors are so good is that is that their margin of error is a little bit greater than the Rockets. The Rockets have to play, like, pretty much, you know, they, they can't let up for a second. If they do, you know they'll get they'll get crushed. So they they, they just have to they just have to really concentrate, really work hard. But after after game one, the way they the way they stepped up this game, that's got to be encouraging, though. You know, that's got to be that's got to be a confidence booster. Not that a team that was <laughs> had the best record in basketball needs a confidence booster, but I think in the playoffs kind of do. But I, I just I just think that the Rockets just don't have an answer for Kevin Durant. I mean like but this is the game 2 is exactly the game that you have to play though. In a, in a chance to win. Just just let Durant score 85 points. Try to try to limit everybody else. I think it's gonna be a good series though. Is that Cleveland series over? Cavs did not look good, but then again, the Celtics do struggle at home or away from home. So game three will be a very big one for for them. Joe P looking for a patch auto out of here. The patch auto out of SP Authentics, uh, Authentic, the one, the ones we've pulled anyway. We've pulled two or three, two. They've looked great. They've looked fantastic. I feel like this set is the design is cleaner this year, Joe P. I, it's been a long time since we've done last year's. I honestly don't remember last year's. We break too many products. But I feel like my impression is that the design is cleaner this year. I like the I like the geometric sort of pattern in the background. I don't know what's going on in the background, but I kind of I like what's happening there. You know, it looks like a I don't know, Fibonacci sequence maybe. The background maybe one of the like the one of those like shells. But what? I wish I had an example of what last year's looked like. I don't know. It just looks different. Design elements are important, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I think people underrate how, uh, how, how difficult it might be to design a good sports card. Logo placement, player placement. I especially like... You can see how it sort of brings your eye to the center of the card. There's like a lot of elements that kind of bring... That tie the tie the card to the, you know your brings your eye in there it's good stuff all right so these are base cards put the blanks over here yeah the, to, to use a Joe P phrase uh, a classic Joe P phrase the packaging is garbage it, it, it's it just hey this is Alex Nylander, 64 out of 999 for the Sabres. 
Who has the Sabres in this? Rich with the Sabres. <laughs> there is kind of a skyboxy sort of feel, to, except just not as not as loud, I guess. A little, a little muted. Huso for the Blues out of 999. Future Watch. On card autograph for Big Boys 007. Yeah, it's good to see you, King D. I don't know. I, f I figured. Adulting. Especially when, when school gets out. I'm sure a lot, lot, everybody who has, like, has kids, is always, they're always gone for the summer. Sign of the Times, Andrew Shaw for the Montreal Canadiens. That goes to Joe P. Last Spot Mojo. All right, that's another one for the Joe P. pile. Eric Carlson, Spectrum FX. There you go. Oh, I like. Congrats, King D. I'm glad you're. Uh, I'm glad you're starting them early. Ottawa Senators. Eric Carlson. That goes to Landon. Matt Murray. Marcus Johansson. Stasny. Steen. And Yager in the back. Ageless wonder. All right, last box coming up, folks. Oh, yeah, there's usually some knights in here. We haven't seen one yet, Dave. We've got hits for some one of your other teams, but no knights as of yet. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what the next what the next like Marvel product or whatever is coming out. I guess we'll have to see the talk to Upper Deck and see what they have. I'm not I'm not sure. We'll have we'll have to check. I don't think we're gonna do any of the movie specific ones. We generally don't do those. Like the I guess we did do Spider Man, but I think that it had a had a nice checklist. Um. I guess we'll see if, uh, I don't think we're going to do the Star Wars story, the Han Solo one. I don't think we're going to do anything with Deadpool 2. We didn't do anything with Avengers. Well, what's, what are the next big Marvel movies that are coming out? They may just release, like, a random thing, like a random higher-end thing later this year. I love that Marvel premiere, the ones with the big rectangular tins that we did with the sketch cards on top. If they, if they do another one of those, we'll certainly get something like that. Yager's going to play for his own Czech team next year? How, how old is Yarmir Yager at this point? Like, how does he... How, how, is, how is he constructed? Is he, is he a... He's a cyborg. I think he's a cyborg. What are the rules on... Uh, what are the rules on cyborgs in sports? Can you be a cyborg? You know, guys like Robinson Cano get popped for PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. But what if, what if you're a cyborg? What if you have body parts that are changed out for, for like, you know, like, oh, I got like a, a, my rotator cuff is screwed up, the, 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 the joint in my shoulder. So they replace it with a titanium ball and socket now my arm, my, now my right arm is fantastic. You know what I mean? So like, so what's the rule on cyborgs? On Yarmir Yager? 
I think he <laughs> Dreadwing says he's 40. So William says he's 50. -ish. He says he's 46. Well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a Yager birther. Let's see his birth certificate. I think he started playing hockey when he was like 10 years old. I'd rather, cause no way he's that old. I say he's younger, and he just started young. Was just that was just that kind of hockey prodigy. But I don't know. I, th I think important things to think about. As, as, as we march into the future of technology, what kind of cyborg would you allow? You know? If Clayton Kershaw destroys his left shoulder, knock on wood, God forbid, you know, like his shatters his left arm, and he gets a surgery that says, hey, we can give you a bionic arm, and you could pitch again. 12 out of 100, Young Guns, David Kampf. That goes to the Blackhawks, Josh Proust. Nice. Numbered parallel. I haven't seen one of those yet. So what happens? What, what do the rules say? Is that allowed? Do they not let him do that? You can't do it? Performance enhancing. For the Jets, future watch, Eric Comrie. So, I, I mean, it, it, I kind of joke now, but it, it, it's actually something that we may have to think about as like a, as like a societal issue. 25 years? 50 years? Something like that? Maybe not us. Maybe our children, but... P.K. Subban for the Preds. That'll be for Mike McCarthy. William L. saying, say, Ivan Lendl, definitely a cyborg. If LeBron James carries this Cavs team to a championship, I'm convinced that LeBron James is a cyborg. Anybody who plays unnaturally long in sports. There's Alex Took. There you go. Future watch. Las Vegas Golden Knights. 529 out of 999. That goes to Big Boys, 007. Nice one, Dave. There you go. He likes that logo. That is kind of a cool logo. They got the V in the, the helmet there. Oh, all right. Maybe the Czechs have that technology. William Williams saying, like, and then there's Martina Navratilova. You know, she played for a long time. They all, all seem to be Czechs. There's Roland McEwen for the Carolina Hurricanes at a 999. That goes to Mike McCarthy. No worries, Dave. You're welcome. Young Guns. Yeah, but we're going to have to think about that, folks. There's Patrick Kane. Got to think about, about the impact of cyborgs. very important I think so hey we're almost done with the break but thanks for indulging uh, indulging cyborg talk ladies and gentlemen we will talk more more sports uh, we'll, we'll talk more cyborgs and their impact on sports next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com thanks very much everyone and we'll see you next time oh by the way final score we've got two autographs for Joe P one two two autographs and a spectrum FX Chasing, chasing that bounty for William. So there you have it. A lot of other people got other hits too. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.